Hello everybody on YouTube. Got another video for you here and my creations, still haven't come up with a name for it, uh, series. And this time it is a minecart station. Not like a complete, perfectly working one, obviously. But, uh... I mean, it, it's small. It's meant for maybe a small server with five people on it, you know, where the systems only use occasionally. Um, I really should probably put another block on the side there. This isn't perfectly designed. Um, so let me just show it to you. What happens is, I'll, I'll give you the scenario first. You build a mine track like this, launcher, okay? But you have a return track coming in as well. But then two people use it at the same time. Second car comes in, boink, bounces, or collides with this one, sending it off on its way again, and it's lost. Or it just, it messes up your entire system. This, I hope to resolve that slight problem in a little bit, and I think I can even do it with some modularity. Modularity. Why did I say that? I do not know. But, I'll work on a modular version so that you can add Actually, this would become a pretty good launcher and incoming um, minecart station thing. I'm going to work on it a little bit more. And I'll release the second video. The annotation which will be on the right or the left or up or the bottom. I have no idea. It might even be in the description. An annotation for it or a link to the next video once I do complete this and update it a little bit more. So, uh, yeah, let me show you quick. So, you get in. This would help if I really have my friend. You get in. And, yeah, you're coming around, you're at your other station, you're coming home now. Oh, there's, another, there's someone else in the station, though. So, you stop here. Hop out, and, oh, you're good. And look, no collisions. Uh, let's see. But, and then, uh, this person goes. And then the next cart pulls in, ready for the next person. Let's launch it again. An empty station. Small glitch I didn't even notice existed. Wasn't going fast enough, I suppose. But uh, that's all in this up here, obviously. Add some speed in there. So there's that. So let me show you the cutaway quick. Boom. Pretty small, too. Now, the sandstone blocks here are just for the return track, just so I had it in a loop for you guys. Um, also, well, we were while me and my friend was building this, I had him come in here and help me out a little bit because we had previously built this on, on a server we were playing on. Uh, if you didn't notice, this detector is here, directly next to this. Unlike over there, over there it had a one block gap. I'll show you that glitch in a minute. What we found out and how we was and this was our resol resol resolution. So. I'll explain it real quick. You get in, press the button, it activates this powered rail which sends you on your way and it also activates this detector rail which activates the yellow line of red, uh, redstone comes into, I wonder if you guys remember this, oh wait a minute, this is an RS nor latch, I am sorry, this is not the same thing from the other video, RS nor latch. Uh, if you don't know what an RS nor latch is, I will be making another video with all the different types of um, gates that you will be able to check out. And for now, you can just Google it even. I'll even be nice enough, and if I remember, I will add a link to a specific page, specifically even for Minecraft gates, that, with some nice diagrams that you can look at. Sorry, I just punched my headset right there, sorry. <laughs> Um, so what happens is this comes in, it activates this, which turns this torch off, and turns this off, unlocking this repeater, and then turning it on, thanks to this current right here, and then once that obviously turns off again, this goes back to being like this, locking it in the on state, and in the on state and the only way to reset it, it's there's basically a set which is this is the set 
this is the reset turning it back off you can set it 500 times it won't turn off this torch only until you send this then it will turn off the torch so it comes through turns this on turning this torch off for in inverting it basically which reactivates this power rail allowing the power rail to go into the station and what happens is if there's no one in the station let me just whoopsies okay what happens is that's obviously wrong but for the sake of what I'm showing you no one's in the station there's nobody here so a new car comes in it's allowed to go through it activates this detector rail activating the cyan wool or redstone line coming in resetting thus this um, resetting the RS nor latch thereby turning off this power rail which will which basically says there's a car and this is basically saying in regular terms um, when this happens oh someone is coming into the station better turn off this rail and since the detector rails like don't hold the signal on when there's not a cart there this is why we use the RS nor latch because it'll keep the signal on or off as needed yeah and for this one it comes through setting it which will turn it off basically saying there's no one at the station right now turn on to allow a new car otherwise you would get stuck up here so I will show you again how that it works it even works with people but I just you saw me write it once you can even go pretty fast with it too I'll hit it as soon as it comes in there we go see couldn't even glitch it I mean you could glitch it even if you had a really small but that's not the point so now for the glitch that we found with the detector rail what happens is you hit it it comes to the next car here we go Let's see if I can do it I might have to be in the cart but I can't oh there it is that's the glitch I'm sorry it doesn't get the chance to reactivate the rail it just went too fast for it but now if we send it back through, reactivating this detector rail again. Oh, I even glitched it up even more. My bad. So that's that glitch. So this placement of these do, do matter. Anything after this detector rail doesn't matter though. You can have whatever you want. This is just what we have. And this specifically has to be on the slope because, as you know, the gravity will pull the minecart down once that track is turned on back into the station and I did two in case sometimes you know it won't stop right there if it's going too fast which you might have on yours because obviously it won't look like this probably if it's going too fast just add non power add one by add one at a time non powered rail separate from this one so like right right there you can see the box out the hit marks box come up add it starting there going this way until the cart slows down enough that it lands on these two and you're all good up to that I think that's about it for this um, as always MC edit link will be in the description and if you need the tutorial let me know please let me know what you think of, my ser of the series I really enjoy doing it so far even though it's, you know, it's only the second video I really love redstone so suck at it sometimes. I still don't understand the comparators. Well, I sort of understand comparators. Just haven't completely figured them out yet. Um, yeah. That sign looks like it's glitching. I'm over it. I wonder if it did. The E looks like it's on. Oh, no, it's off. Oh, it's glitched. <laughs> Anyways. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Um, you know, leave your comments. Let me know what you think. And if you do need the step-by-step -step tutorial, let me know.
and I'll make it and there'll be a link for it in the video so you can get to it easily and if I already have made a tutorial watch for it while I was just speaking it will be on the screen till the end of the video so that's it guys see you next time thanks for watching